So let's take a look at this example. 3a squared minus 3ab minus b squared plus 4ab plus 6b squared. So this polynomial, these two polynomials that we're adding together, they don't fall into the same category as what we've been looking at. And the reason is we have two variables. We have a's and we have b's. But as far as like terms go, things don't change at all. <coughs> you have to look at these still as far as naming goes, like an a squared, that's still going to be a quadratic term. But how do I name a term that has an a and a b? Well, the simple answer is you're not. But whenever it comes to combining, I can only put an AB with another AB. Not only does it have to have identical letters, but it also has to have identical degrees. So we're going to look at another example in a few minutes that um, might also help understand that. So I'm going to put my, and as far as like where do I start, well, again, that's not really going to matter either and standard form doesn't matter. Typically what we do is we go alphabetically and largest degree. So alphabetically would be my a's, largest degree would be my two. So do I have any other a squares that I can combine with this three a squared? And I don't, so I'm gonna start with my three a squared. Okay, so then next I um, might go to my a b's. So I have a 3AB, oh, sorry, it's a negative 3AB. Do I have any other ABs? And yes, I do. So I'm gonna put a negative 3AB and a 4AB together. And when I combine them, negative three plus four is gonna leave me with a 1AB. So then next I'm gonna look at my B squares. So I have a negative b squared, and I have a plus 6b squared that I can combine. And so when I put them together, they're gonna combine to make a 5b squared. So what is my final simplified answer? 3a squared plus ab plus 5b squared. So let's look at another example that we saw before, one that's very similar to this. And this is our warm up. And on this one, the direction said to simplify the expression. So in this example, we're actually going to go back and recall some of our properties of exponent rules. So before, this is gonna be a two-step process. Before I can start combining like terms, well right now I don't have any like terms. But also it's not simplified because notice how I have parentheses here. It's not simplified if you have parentheses. So I'm gonna start by getting rid of those parentheses by distributing the exponent to all of the bases that I have. So it becomes a negative five squared an x to the six times two, remember a power to a power, we multiply our exponents, and then a y to the two times two. So what is negative five squared? Well, that's negative five times negative five, so that becomes a positive 25, then x to the 12, and y to the fourth power. And so now I'm gonna bring down my other term. And so the question is, can I combine these two terms? Are they like terms? And the answer is yes. Even though my coefficients are different, that's okay. Notice though how my, my x to the 12, x to the 12, y to the fourth, y to the fourth, they're identical. One way you could look at this is by making smoothies. If I'm making a smoothie, I have 12 strawberries and four blueberries. Is this smoothie gonna be the exact same? Yes, it is, 12 strawberries and four blueberries. You can think of the coefficients as the number that you're gonna make. So I'm gonna make 25 of this type of smoothie and 12 of these smoothies. 
So, or you could look at it as I'm making 25 smoothies with 12 strawberries and four blueberries and only 12 of them get drunk. So when I combine these, 25 minus 12 simplifies and becomes 13 x to the 12 y to the 4. Again, now that we're down to that last step, our coefficients change, but our exponents doesn't. So when you have double letters, look at it as a recipe, a smoothie recipe. So let me ask you this. Can we combine Can I put those two together? I have S's and I have B's. Notice even how my coefficients are the same. So is that gonna combine to a 10? Uh, well, what would come next? You see, notice how I don't have the exact same recipe. This smoothie recipe calls for three strawberries and two bananas. Don't know how to spell bananas. This one calls for, however, two strawberries and two bananas. B A N A N A S. Sorry, can't spell here. So, would this recipe with the smoothies taste the same? No, it's not because you don't have the same number of strawberries. So can we combine these two terms? The answer is no. Not like terms. Not the same recipe. Okay, I hope this helps.